again. I'm always very excited to be with you on a table talk. I hope you are too. Okay, uh, what do we do on the head table talk? We try as much as possible to dissect topical issues that affect us in our day to day lifestyles. We bring from um, seasoned men, professionals, and women that are very broad and deeply knowledgeable in their area of calling and in their area of profession. I will bring this great information to you that can help you make excellent decisions and intelligent choices that can help you succeed in life, in your family issue, your marital issues, and also in single lifestyle, not leaving out our parenting ethics. This I am highly disturbed. As a parent coach, I hear a lot, I see a lot about parenting ethics. Most of the time, parents have basically relegated their parenting responsibilities either to the being, either to the maid, either to social media negative influences. And what are we seeing? Basically, high rise of moral decadence. Today, we'll be dwelling on a topic that has to do with parenting, our parenting ethics. I will not stop saying this because I am highly disturbed in my spirit, as I said earlier on. The more we sensitize the masses, the more we create more awareness for parents to sit up to their responsibility, for parents to do it rightly, do the needful at the right time, the better we have better families, the better we have better homes, the earlier we are going to also have a better society. The world must be a very pleasant place for all to live in, irrespective of our locations. So here on a table talk, we try as much as possible to give you great explanations that can help you to be successful. When you are successful, we are happy. That is why we're here. So like I said earlier on today, we'll be dissecting a topic on parenting. And our guest speaker, she's the school administrator of the General Winner School, a person of Mrs. Perpetua Onya. God bless you. Have you on the platform today? It's a great privilege, man. Thank you for joining us. So, ma, just as you have heard, as a school administrator, you are into the business of school. And then, um, you know, school business is also a calling, it's a passion thing because you are affecting lives. Uh, these parents bring the children to you and try to mold them up. But what I saw see in this dispensation is that there, there, there is like a friction with responsibilities. Responsibilities of the school, these are these responsibilities of parents. You know, we live in a world now where parents are basically relegating their basic responsibility, their morals, responsibility, teaching their children good morals. They are basically maybe relegating it to the background and also pushing it to the school. So our topic for today is what is your take on this lack of hygiene, morals in the, in the lifestyle or in the, in, the, in the habits of parents that most times they send their children to school, their hair is looking so upkept, maybe for, 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 for weeks they have not done their hair, their uniform is tattered, they don't dress well, some you will see their their tie, their color. You know, most times I go to schools, I see a lot of all this, and I'm kind of thinking about what is going on here. What are we teaching these young ones? Not only their morals, but their looks, their hygiene. Are you as disturbed as I am? I am. I am yes, we see this every day. So, what is your take on this? What do you think are the causes of this lack of proper training of? of our children in this dispensation, lack of this hygiene. Is it the responsibility of the school to instill this morals of hygiene or parents? Okay, ma, thank you for having me once again. Thank you. All right, it is the responsibility of the parents to take care of their children while coming to school. Okay. Because we say that charity begins at home. Mm. And home is the first school of every child. Yes, of so, point. The child, it is the responsibility of the parents to take care of their children before coming to school. So school. Take care of them, watch their uniforms, watch their hair, watch their outlook before bringing them to school. Watch the things they use, watch their school bag, 
everything that belongs to them, all their that belongs basic to them. hygiene. It is the responsibility of the parents, not the school. No parents should not have any erroneous mindset about this. This can never be relegated to the school. It is for the parents, the basic hygiene of these children. You know what I also mentor parents is as parents, the basic thing you have to do, you are the first teacher, you are the first pastor, you are the first counselor, you are the first mentor, you are the first advisor, and you must be the first best friend of your child. In totality, everything about the person the child looks, as parents you need to mold it, carve it, encapsulate it in them, and let them also imbibe it. Sorry, my little ride right on. Yes, <laughs> so it is the responsibility of the parents to take good care of their children. We as teachers, we have our duties on those people or, or students. You don't do the work of a parent on children. You have your own responsibility because we have a couple responsibilities that is meant for us. We are not meant to wash the kids' lunch bags. Yes. We are not meant to wash the school uniforms. We are not meant to polish their shoes. We are not meant to wash their school bag. Mm. So you as a parent... And you are not also meant to mend it. Mend it because I no. see some loopholes, torn uniforms, loose ends and all those. I know the parents will still send... I've seen, I've seen these things in several schools. So it is the responsibilities of parents to do that. Before your child comes to school, take a look of that child. Yes. Don't just leave the child going. Take a look of the child. Even the dressing, day. her looks, we her have basic habits of good hygiene. We have our some. Own they don't even instill how they should brush their teeth, their looks. You know, all these things count. The Bible has said, train a child in the way of the Lord, he will not go up, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22 6. And it also said, charity begins at home. So, schools are meant to collaborate your efforts as parents. Schools are meant to partner with you in terms of, you know, teaching these children. But if you are not doing that from home and only the school is doing that, there is no basic interface and collaboration so it is a joint effort when you do yours at home then the school do theirs these children will learn fast and they will sit up but when it's only one sided the school is always telling them maybe at the assembly ground we need to do this and all that and you as parents you are not doing yours there's no correlative factor exactly. there's a missing link and you know what they are teaching these children in school will be counterproductive if you're not teaching them from home. So parents, please, your duties, your responsibilities, your primary responsibilities can never be relegated to the background, can never be relegated to school. It is indelegatory. Sorry, thank you, ma'am. So ma'am, um, we have said enough about that. What's your advice to schools and to parents on this? Should okay. schools always send the student back home? What do you take? Your disciplinary action, What's your advice to the school? What's your advice to the parents? Our advice to parents, or the advice we always give parents, we call their attention to it. To it. Yes. We always, you can't send a child home. You call the attention of the parent because it is the parent's fault. You always call the attention. This child is in school with a dirty uniform. What is the cause? This child is in school with a dirty shoes. What is the cause? Yes. You can't send a child home. So it is the right of the parent. Take or maybe in child. that process too, you can also isolate the child. When you isolate the child from other children in the school, it can also work. Because when you isolate the child, the child will be so will be so pissed off and you will go home and tell the mommy or the daddy. Then the child too will also take it upon himself or upon herself to be neat next time. Exactly. You know, training is a holistic manner. Education is not only on the academics. Everything about their habits, their character, their mannerism, their voice need to be taught in school alongside this week collaboration with the parents. You know there's facilitating parents and non facilitating parents. The facilitating parents are the kind of parents that really are intentional in teaching these children the needful, good morals, Bible ethics, their assignments in their basic academics. Everything is a holistic thing. That is why you are a parent. So what is the advice to school? Please, my advice to school is please is don't punish a child 
for being dirty to school. You can isolate the child. Okay, you just can, as I've said. Yes, okay. you can give a child a verbal training on it. You tell the child, look at the negative for being to do. the negative aspect and the oh, sorry, the the, the the negative aspect and the consequences if they carry on with that habit because it's a habit and habit when formed it is very difficult to do away with so from that onset for that early stage we need to integrate cleanliness cleanliness is next to godliness, godliness. let them some children you see them their body order they, ah, at that tender age ah, it baffles me so a lot needs to be done parents pay attention that's what i call the idp principles you have to be intentional, you have to be deliberate, and you have to be purposeful. Purpose driven parenting are the facilitating parents. And the opposite is non facilitating parents or conservative parents. Those that are just there, you think the school will do everything for them. It's not possible. Your responsibilities can never be delegated to the school. So thank you very much, Ma. Thank you for joining us. So, all of you that have been uh, sending messages, I want to say thank you to your comments, to your likes, sharing, and all that. They're subscribing. I want to say here, let every moment be a teachable moment to our children. What do we say? God bless you. Bye. Bye.